no? Seven. Okay. Right. We'll start, uh, Sagarji. First, Dhyana uh, Shloka will take after. Okay. We'll begin with three Omkaras. Um. Om. Sahanavavatu, Sahanau Bunaktu, Sahavir Yankar Vahai, Tejasvinavadita Mastuma Vidvishavahai, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, Om Shuklam Baradharam Vishnum. Shashivaranam Chaturbujam Prasannavadanam Dhyayet Sarva Vigno Pashantayet Om Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwaraha Guru Sakshat Parabrahma Tasmai Shri Guru Namaha Straight ahead, I'll start. Yes, Guruji. Hari Om. Um, some more are due, but um, we, today we thought we will, um, every day we are chanting the first and the last Dhyana Shlokas. Today we are going to chant the entire Dhyana Shloka and understand the meaning also, the inner meaning properly. So I'm going to share the uh, PPT as we do it. Let us take it uh, um, verse by verse. First, we take the first one. Om Parthaya Pradibodidam Bhagavadam Narayane Naswayam Vyasena Gratidam Purana Munina Madhye Mahabharatam Advaitam Rudavarshinim Bhagavadim Ashtadashadhyayinim Amba Tvamnanu Sandhadami Bhagavad Gide Bhavadveshinim All of you, those of you who have a pad and pen, start writing down because you will not get opportunity again. Um, try to understand the, each word and we will try to show you with a PPT with picture and I got this help from our um, um, Sadak Srimati Muktaji. She has prepared with a lot of uh, love. So you can jot down the meaning and uh, try to, when you chant next time, try to see the meaning. That is very important. What does it mean, Om? Om here means it is a God of all gods. Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara and one which gives the power to all. The Supreme Parabrahman which Saivites call it as Parameshwara, Vaishnavites call it as Sriman Narayana, and Vedantin call it as Parabrahman. Om is the Supreme Brahman. Om. Parthaya Pradivodhitam. To Partha. Parthaya means to pan. He is the son of Prudho, Kunti's. Kunti's son, Prudho's son, Prudha's son, Parthaya, to Partha Pradibodhitam. This is taught, trained into, not lectured into. She, uh, this is given by whom? Who has given this? The given by Bhagavata Narayani Swayam. Write down each meaning. This is given by the Supreme Brahman himself. It is not that Devaki's son. It is that Supreme Brahman. Himself has given it. Bhagavata Narayani Naswayam. And what has been given to by the Supreme Parabrahman as Krishna, 
is composed by Vedavyasi. Vyasena Graditam. This is composed by Vedavyasi. And he is one of the most ancient sages, Purana Munina. And where is it? Madhye Mahabharatam. Mahabharatam, you know, we have the three in Prasthanatraya. We have the Upanishads, Bhagavad Gita, Brahma Sutra. And we also have what is called as Shruti, Smriti, Itihasa, and Purana. Shruti is that Veda, the four Vedas. Based on, there is the original, the foundation. Based on Shruti, the various people have composed various uh, books, scriptures, in line with Shruti to explain the meaning of Shruti. And Mahabharata is one Smriti based on Shruti. And that Mahabharata is composed by Vedavyasti. And where does this um, come? It is in the Mahabharata. It is a, our uh, Bhagavad Gita is in Mahabharata. This is um, in the middle of Mahabharata. What does it give? Advaita Amruta Varshani. It showers. The, what is that? Advaita Amruta. One without a second. That Supreme Brahman. That Amruta. Amruta? That experiencing which none of us will die. That is there given to us. And Bhagavati, we consider uh, this um, Bhagavad Gita as the Holy Mother, the Divine Mother, Bhagavati. And this has got Ashtadasha Adhyayim. This Bhagavad Gita consists of 18 chapters. And there are various ways of division of this. Um, that doesn't matter. And we call her Amba. Amba, the Holy Mother. Amba, we are telling all these to Bhagavad Gita. Amba, we are giving a, a commitment to her. Amba, oh my mother, Vam Anusanta Dami. I am not only going to chant the Bhagavad Gita slokas. I am not, on, not only going to understand the meaning. And I, it is a commitment that all of us are making every time you chant the Parthaya Pravibodhana, we are making commitment. Amba. Vam Anusandadami. Oh, Mother Bhagavad Gita, I am going to not only chant, understand, but live the meaning. Meditate. What? Bhagavad Gita. And um, what does, what is the purpose? Bhava Deshinim. What is, what is going to do? Bhava is the repeated birth and death. Punarapi Jananam, Punarapi Maranam. By practicing Bhagavad Gita, we are not going to get anywhere to the samsara, the repeated birth and death. None of you will die and you will not be born. What happens is to the body and that happens because of Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita, Bhavad Dveshinim. We will see that um, once more total meaning. This Bhagavad Gita is taught to Arjuna by the Supreme Brahman himself. It is in Mahabharata, composed by Vedavyasji. And we are giving an assurance, O oh, Mother, she is showering the Advaita. It consists of 18 chapters. I am going to meditate, not only read, understand, listen, Please understand, we are going to practice it. And what will happen? I shall never be born again. Please see whether we have understood when we chanted. Om Parthaya Pradibodhitam Bhagavadam Narayane Naswayam Vyasena Gratidam Purana Munina Madhye Mahabharatam Advaitam Rudavarshinim Bhagavadim 
अष्टादाध्यायिनी अंब तामुसंदा भगवदीतेषिणी विल टेक् द नेक्स्ट वन नमोस्तु ते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे उल्लाय शतपत्रनेत्र भारतपूर्ण प्रज्वालिमय प्रदीप विोटल अटेन्शन नम तो ऐ एम सल्यूटिंग टू यू नौ वी आर् डूइंग आल आफ यू स्टार्ट सल्यूटिंग टू वेद व्यास जी महाराज भगवान वेद व्यास जी नमोस्तु थे वी आर सल्यूटेशन वी आर आफरिंग साष्टांग प्रणाम टू वेद व्यास जी वेद व्यास इज दि आथर ऑफ ऑल दि कंपोजर ऑफ वेद आथर ऑफ महाभारत एंड सो मेनी अदर ग्रंथ वेद व्यास जी एंड वॉट इज ही विशाल बुद्धे ही हेज गॉट अ ग्रेट इंटेलेक्ट ग्रेट इंटेलेक्ट नॉट द ग्रास the supreme grass is nowhere comparable to the little of certain intellect sukshma buddhi the intellect is capable of discriminating even if i have repeatedly said even if you have six or seven phd's are fit for nobel in the materialist world it is only grass that is not even like a drop of uh, water or a small candle compared to the spiritual knowledge which is like a ocean Vedic Vyas Ji has this Vishal Buddha, and his lotus Pullara Vindaya Shatha Patra Nitra. Huh? Shatha Patra Nitra. Eyes fully blossom. It is a description of. Ye na tvaya Bharata Thaila Purna ha. Through whom? Through by whom is what? Through Vedic Vyas Ji. The entire oil of supreme knowledge is filled up. Carefully, this is our Veda Vyas Ji, and Prajwarito. It lies what? Jnana Maya, filled with Jnana, the supreme knowledge, the ultimate knowledge, Atma Jnana, Brahma Jnana, which includes all the other languages. It lies up, Pradipa Ha, lies up. So we'll see it again. We are now seeing. नमोस्तु देव्यास विशाल बुद्धे उल्लाविंदातपत्रनेतपूर्ण प्रज्वालित ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्लीज प्रोस्टेट वेद व्यास जी महाराज दट ग्रेट डिवाइन सोल विथ द सुप्रीम इंटेलेक्ट and his eyes are glowing and through whom all of us are getting the lamp of light the supreme knowledge i think we owe a lot to him the third verse of jnan uh, shloka prapanna parijataya totra ved eka panaye jnana mudraya krishnaya कृष्ण द सुप्रीम ब्रह्म प्रपन्न those who surrender to him fully in the shri vaishnava siddhanta you have samashrayana then we have prapatti and bharanyasa absolute total surrender into him merging into him carefully carefully each word is very very important and to those prapanna one who has undergone the prapatti or the bharanyasa after samashrayana and to that person what is happening parijataya parijata you have that uh, sacred tree sacred tree which gives that parijata flowers and it is a symbol of one who gives uh, all our dharmic desires and ultimately it gives one 
the Supreme Supreme Brahma. Prapan, for those who surrender, it will give all the desires, including Atma Jnana. And what is this? Look at him. Totra Vetra Eka Panaye. It is a, you will also see in the picture, a bamboo or a cane with uh, holes. It is a flute. Either you can take it as that or as a stick to whip us all up. Or with that beautiful flute, Kadhing as Haya. Totra Vetra Eka Panaye in his one hand. Look at him. Start meditating on this Bhagavan Krishna. Totra Vetra Eka Panaye. Eka Panaye, one hand. In hand, he has the divine flute. We all should become his flute. He must flow through us. We are all his instrument, like the flute. We are all his instrument. He flows through us. And then, in the other hand, he is giving us Jnana Mudraya. Jnana Mudraya. Jnana Mudra. The ego merges in, I am not the body, I am not the mind, I am not the intellect. The three, I am not that. And the ego merges into me. This is the Jnana Mudra with palm facing upwards. And he has in the other hand the Jnana Mudra. Krishnaya, this is that supreme Brahman. You can see him there. And he is what? He is giving what? Gita Amruta. He is the milker. And he is giving his what? Amruta. Amruta, which will help us. Amruta is death. We become Amruta. It is available every day, every week after week, year after year, you are getting this Amruta. You have to only uh, take it. Let us not be like Asuras. Going after um, Mohini. All of us are bothered running after our money, power, position, status. I have got this project. I have got this work and da, 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 da. But you are missing Amruta. We should see that. Gita Amruta. Duhe. He is giving us the nectar of the Bhagavad Gita. Gita Amruta. Which will help us become, not become. Becoming is something what I am not. Which will help us to realize I am that. I am deathless. That Amruta Duhe Namaha. We are going to do the prostrations to him. We will see again. Together you can chant with muted condition. Namos to them. No. Prapanna parijataya. Totra vet eka panaye. Dhyana mudraya krishnaya. Gita amruta duhe namaha. See the meaning? See Lord Krishna. He is viparaka parijata. He gives you what you want. Ask for more money, more power position, more status, no material, but he will give. But we would like to have from him the highest after having which we have nothing more to gain. Why oh, yes, small, small, small candlelight? You have the Koti Surya. I, carefully, we are, he is that supreme Brahman. This is verse 3. Verse 4, Oh, what a beautiful verse it is. I, am, I really like this a lot. Sarvo Panishado Gavo Dogta Gopala Nandanaha Pakko Vatsa Sudhir Bogta Dugdam Gidam Rudam Mahade. What a beautiful verse. We have the Upanishad. Sarva Upanishad. The ten Upanishads are mentioned there. Isha, um, Kata, Yena, Kata, Prashna, Munda, Mandukya, Titri is called is Taitariyam, Aitareya, Chandogyam, Brahadaranikam. These are called the ten major Upanishads. Why are they called ten major Upanishads? It is nothing, not that this is special. For these ten Upanishads, all the three Acharyas, Shankara, Ramanuja, Madhva, has written commentaries. 
That's why they are called major Upanishads. But these are the major, but all the Upanishads, Sarva Upanishads, are like Gavo, are like cows. You will see in the picture, in the picture given the names of the Upanishads are mentioned. In the background, each one of them is a cow. Are you seeing it? Observe carefully. In the background, in a thin uh, okay, you will see the cows. All these Upanishads are like cows. And Bhogda, there is this cow, milker man, milker, one who is milking, is Gopala Nandana. Nanda Gopas, why? Parantu Dwar, um, uh, Deviki and Vasudeva grew in, in Nanda Gopas Ashriya. Covered by Gopala Nandana. And there you will see Patsa, the calf, is Arjuna. Partaha, Patsa. What's up? What's up? And uh, what's up means the cow. The cow is the Upanishads. The man who is milking the cow is, is you him there? Bhagavan Krishna himself, the Supreme Brahman. The calf is Arjuna. And what is that? He is only having. Arjuna is only a nimitta matram over the shoulders of Arjuna. He is giving us the Bhagavan Krishna in Bhagavad Gita. He is milking the essence of all Upanishads. Cow with nimitta Arjuna to all of us. Who is doing that Supreme Brahman? Sudhi Bhogta. Though it is available to all, not all drink the milk. It is available free. Our class week after week, year after year is available free. It is a question of you choosing. Either you take it or run away. Carefully, carefully. It should be your commitment. So you, you have to enjoy the benefit. You must be a sudhi. Bhogta, experience. Enjoy means what? Experience that essence of all Upanishads is Brahma Vidya. Cow is like Upanishads. The essence of all Upanishads is that Amrutam. And Bhagavan Krishna is milking. And it is available to all of us but we have been given freedom. Either you can drink or turn away from the class. You have freedom. There is no compulsion. Fortunately, it is free. But out of the millions and trillions of people, how many people come to this? Manishyanam sahasreshu kaschit yadadi siddhaye yadadapavi siddhanam kaschinma veti dhatvadaha so you are fortunate you are among the microscopic, microscopic, extremely small percentage who are drinking this great divine milk. Milk. Nectar. What is that milk? Gita Amritam. Gita Amritam, the nectar of Bhagavad Gita. And that is that supreme. Mahat. Supreme. Mahat means you can't remove even one word. You can't. That's why, that's why I thought we will share with you this important. The supreme Atma Jnana, Brahma Jnana. The essence of all our Upanishads. Which, the Shruti, the Vedas. Which has been explained through Smriti and Puranas. But the origin is Shruti, the Brahma Vidya. That we are getting it. And we'll see it again. Sarvo Upanishad Dhogda Gopala Nandana Parto Vatsaha Sudhi Bhokta Dhugdam Gita Amradam Mahat Mahat Gita Amradam.
So don't miss the opportunity. Get it. We'll go to verse number five. Vasudevasudam devam kamsachanuramadhanam devaki paramanandam krishnam vande jagadguram. Let us prostrate to Lord Krishna, the Supreme Brahman in the form of Krishna. And little more description because Puranic. Vasudeva Sudham, born to Devaki and Vasudeva in the jail. And he is that Supreme Lord, Vasudeva Sudham, Devam, the Supreme Brahman. And he showed his Leela as a small boy, Kamsa Chanura Mardanam, the demons, evil people, Rakshasas. He destroyed the Kamsa. I like a few examples. Putani and so many. But Bhagavatam is so great. Kamsa Chanura Madhana. He is the destroyer, the killer of the negative Rakshasas in us. Kamsa and Chanura Madhana. And Devaki Paramanandam. Look at her. A divine lady. A chosen lady who had this bliss. Devaki Paramananda. And he, he is that Supreme Brahman Krishna. And he is the, we are going to prostrate one day. Don't listen, prostrate mentally to Jagat Gurum, the teacher of the world. So as you chant this verse, please see the meaning. You have understood the meaning. Like a uh, Arjuna surrendered and prostrated to Lord Krishna. All of us are going to... He is not a guru of uh, India. He is the guru Jagat Gurum, the entire universe. Not only our earth and our solar system, the entire universe. He is the supreme Lord. We are going to prostrate to that Lord. Okay. And now, Vasudeva Vasudeva Sudam Devam Kamsachanura Madhanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Guram. Now you will find an interesting verse, verse number six of Dhyana Shloka, where the entire war of Mahabharat is likened to a river. And all the characters of uh, the Mahabharata war, they are illustrated. Oh, what one of the greatest educating verses, pay your total attention to this uh, verse. Now he says, we'll chant it together. Bhishma Drona Tata Jayadrata Jala Gandharani Rotpala Shalya Grahavati Krupena Vahani Karnena Vela Kula Ashwatthama Vikarna Gora Makara Duryodhana Vatini Stotir Nakarupanda Vairananadi Kaivartaka Keshavaha. What a beautiful verse. Let us see. And fortunately, our Sevak. Gita, our uh, Muktaji has given a beautiful pictorial presentation of this verse. The river Ranali is there. Bhishma and Drona. Bhishma, Drona, they are the Tata. Tata means the two banks. Oh, the moment you chant this verse, you must see that. The river with two banks, the two banks. Bhishma and Drona of the Mahabharata war. The picture also is given, you can see. The river is given, Bhishma and Drona are there. And Jayadrata, Jala, the water. Who is Jayadrata? You know the, in the Mahabharata war, that character, the king of Sindhu and Dhritarashtra's son-in-law. He is uh, he is like the water, Jayadrata Jala, the water of the river. 
Gandhara Nirodpada. Gandhara, the Isha king, is Shukuni. You know the character, because you know the background, I don't need to explain. That is like a uh, Nirodpara. Either you can call it as blue lotus or a betraying rock. It, it appears, it is almost cheating us. He is the, the in the river. You see the blue lotus or the blue rock. That is Shakuni. And Shalya is like Graha. Shalya is the king of Madra. And that is a, like a shark. You see the shark in the picture? Shark. Shalya is Shalya, the king of Madra. Madri's brother. He is like a shark. They are all in this river. Shalya is like a Graha. Grahavati. Like a shark, Krupena Vahani. Krupa is the teacher, the son of Drona. He, Vahani, is like a terrific flow, flow of the river. He was, Krupa also, like his father, was a teacher of Pandavas and Kauravas. And that he was in the other side. Gaurava side. It was um, a powerful flow. Karmi, Rubena, Vahani. Karna. Karna, Vela Kula. Karnina, Vela Kula. You see in the picture, the two representative pictures of Karna and how it happened to him. But here, Karna, that's great. Um, he is a very, very powerful person. He is like a mighty wave. Mighty wave. Such a huge karnena vela kula. Ashwatthama. Sorry. Our, uh, our Krupa is not Ashwatthama. Ashwatthama is Drona's son. And Vikarna, Duryodhana's brother. They are like dangerous alligators. You are seeing the picture. They are there in that river. Ashwatthama. Vikarna. Ashwatthama is Ronacharya's son. Vikarna is Duryodhana's brother. They are like powerful alligators. 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 In the river of what? These are all there. Ashwatthama, Vikarna. Ashwatthama and Vikarna are like Ghora. Dangerous Makara. They are in the river. Duryodhana is that Dilpur? Duryodhana or Tini. What a love description, you know. Because you know the background, Duryodhana or Tini. He's like a Dilpur, Duryodhana. And, and to that river, you have to cross. Imagine, small, small uh, stream, we find it difficult to cross. You have got that huge. Now go through the description. The whole uh, river with the whirlpools, dangerous uh, high waves with um, uh, all the uh, makara and all that. Sotirnakalu Pandavai. That river is crossed by Pandava. Was crossed by whom? By Pandavas. Pandavas? Yudhishthira, Arjuna, Bhimana, Kurasadeva, the Pancha Pandavas, and others. And they crossed Pandavaihi. But it was crossed by Pandavas. And this, what is that? Rananadi, the river of war, with that description. And how did they cross? Who helped him? Kaivartaka. The person who crossed, who made Pandavas cross that huge river with all that description is because of Krishna. And he is available to us. One Keshava, 
is Krishna, who killed KG in the form of the fearful horse, and Krishna helped them to cross. He is available to us, friends. We is able to all those description of the river is in the river of life. Carefully, all those characters are there around you. And to cross this ocean, the river of life, if we surrender to him, he is ever prepared to help us to cross. Kaivartaka Keshavaha. Let us take his help. Let us see it again. Bhishma Drona Dada, Jayadrata Jala, Gandhara Nirotpala, Shalya Grahavati Krubena Vahani. Karne na vela kula Ashwatha mamikar na gora makara Duryodhana vatini Soti na karopanda vairanadi Kaivartaka keshavaha Start imagining that beautiful river, violent pair with all those characters, the various dangerous aspects of a very, very powerful, violent, impossible to imagine river. The various characters of Mahabharata were there. And Sri Krishna helped Pandavas to cast. So he will also help us. Let us surrender to him, Keshava. He will take it over. When you chant, may you have, with his support, we can cross this river. Next. Vara Shalya Vasha Saroja Mamaram Gita Takangot Kadam Nana Kyakana Kesaram Harikata Sambodana Boditam Doke Sajana Shatpadai Raharaha Peyamanam Muda Buyad Parada Pankadam Kalimara Rajam Sinash Treyase you have chanted with me. Let us see. Come on. Yes. Here we have Parasharya, like Kaunteya, Kunti's son. Parasharya, Parashara. Son is our Veda Vyasi Maharaj. He is a Matsya Kanda. And a Fisher woman's son. The father is para, Parashara. And his words is a beautiful lake. Vajam Sarojam. Sarojam, the lake. Vajaha, the words. And born in the lake of words of Vyasji is this. And then, what is that? Amaram. Amara is pure clean, no dirt whatsoever. And Gita Artha, Gita Artha, the essence of Gita. Ganda, the fragrance in it. Utkadam, very intense. With all of them are indicators of this Bhagavad Gita. The intense, sweet fragrance of the essence of Gita. The essence of Gita is so great that it cannot be described by adjectives. Only an attempt is made, that is all. We can't do it. We can't do justice to that. Nana kya kana. And here you have a lot of uh, stories. Kesaram, Staman, which has got these so many stories here in this. And when of the um, Sambodhana Nana Kya Kana Kesaram Harikata Sambodhana Boditam eh? Nana Kya Naka Kesaram Harikata Sambodhana Boditam Hari is Kada. The stories of the Supreme Brahman in the form of Hari. Krishna here, Bhagavatam, Sambodhana, 
and uh, these are um, in the discourses where Harikatha is very famous, the various stories of uh, Hari describes the essence of that Supreme Brahma. Harikatha Sambodhana Bodhikam Loke Saddhana Ah, Loke Sajjana Shetpadai. Loke in this world, Sajjana, the good people, like all of you. And not only that, the other uh, animals, Shetpadi, one Shet is six, six legged beast. Araha, daily. Daily, you are going to get that. And you must be like bees. What is that? Pepi Amanam Muda. In Vedanta, this bee is used for this description. Bees, when they are playing, they get initially attracted by the flower. They go and sit. And then afterwards, they suck. They suck the honey from the beginning. So we also, yes, you all got attracted to the class, to the study of our Vedas and Bhagavad Gita and Upanishads. First you got attracted and now like bees, you draw the nectar, drink it happily. What a beautiful uh, this thing. We have to practice it. That is all. Pepiya manam muda. How happily I hope you are enjoying. You are drinking the nectar. Enjoying blissfully. Like a, like a bee. Buyat Bharata Pankaram. Buyat me this lotus of Mahabharat. Karimala. In this entire yuga, but and this is they say you know Kali Yuga is very bad and all that, but not for people like you. For others, it's horrible. But for you, this day Kali Yuga is great because you are doing sadhana in Kali Yuga. And Prajam Singh to us, it becomes strayous. All of you know the difference between the prayers and the strayous. Most of the people in this world go to what is called as prayas, temporary fleeting pleasure. People go, prayas. That which is priya, it gives you immediate kick, immediate pleasure, but that may not be good. But what is prayas may or may not be immediately good, but that is one which is going to give us the highest, the good. We are Chosen the path of strayers. I, I have no doubt that all of you have got that. You are on the path of strayers. And this is what is going to happen. Naha, may that good happen to us, all of us. Like that, you see. All that is composed again, summary is given here. Mahabharat is that. This is born in Mahabharata. And the essence of Gita is there. Lot of stories and statements and Harikatha is there. And while these are all having negative effects to other mortals, for you, no. All the so-called negative effects of uh, Kali Yuga you have the nectar which will destroy all that. And like a bee, you are going to not only get attracted, go nearer, but some enjoy blissfully the essence of this Bhagavad Gita and Mahabharata. Right. What a, this is another favorite. I, um, I love this a lot. It has happened to my life quite a lot. Mukam karoti vacharam, Bangam danga yate girim, Yet krupa tamaham bande, 
परमानंद माधव इट कैन हैपन टू एनी वन ऑफ अस ही हैज मेड मीन मुखम दिस इज केपेबल ऑफ व्हाट मुखम द डम हु कैन नॉट स्पीक करो जी वाचारम ब्रिंग स्पीच मैन अ डम मैन who can't speak with bhagwan's grace you can um vacharam make one of the greatest expressions you can become you can talk i was in a from a village i could not understand in my 10th standard a word of english and in front of five people i used to collapse His grace made me. O come, karo di va charam. I was able to speak to an audience of more than five thousand people in English for one and a half hours non-stop without a slip of paper. What else other than His grace, friends? With His grace, anything can happen. O come, karo di va charam. Then, see the other one, dumb. can speak with his grace and bangam is a lame who can't walk who has got no legs but imagine that person langaye de jirim to the two extremes a man who can't walk there is a man who can't speak he speaks eloquently now a lame man who uh, has got no proper legs who can't even walk properly carefully and he climbs mountain it is possible with his grace with his grace anything is possible my dear friends it is not the other people who can do that who can help you no it is that supreme power only with that grace anything can happen ah uh, if this too can happen what about other thing pangum gangeem yat krupa by whose grace all these are happening what are we doing tam aham vande hello tam we have got to prostrate please do the prostration our prostrations to him please do it now any miracle can happen don't even ask him he knows what to give and not not to give even if uh, some adversity some problems have come in your life have faith with his grace anything but you don't get what you desire carefully you get what you deserve become a deserving person you don't need to go and tell him in your language in uh, kannada tamil hindi marathi and uh, sanskrit i want this he is the all knower he gives you only what you deserve and what is good to you please surrender to him what a grateful was o kam karo diva charam pangum lang he is the paramam parama ananda madavam सुप्रीम ब्रह्मन सच्चिदानंद परम आनंद सच्चिदानंद कृष्ण माधव वेडेड टू ऑल द वर्ल्ड ऑल द वेल्थ इन द वर्ल्ड श्री कृष्ण ही ही सच्चिदानंद सत्यम ज्ञानम अनंतम ब्रह्म इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ग्रीन यू गेट व्हाट यू डिजर्व not what you desire don't be desiring be deserving 
you don't need to tell him what you he gives you knows what you want what should be given to you what should not be given to you absolutely totally surrender to him when it says i surrender means be to him tam aham vande i surrender total prapatti total sharanagati please pour down to lord krishna the supreme brahman the source of all joy sachidananda it is his grace just a small glance makes you achieve what you people think is impossible it is it will be possible for you take the example of mukam karoti vachalam pangam langeti girim think one thing i think your attitude towards your life will change the moment you read this now the where is the most powerful verse yam yam brahma varunendra rudra marudah sunvanti divyai stavai vedai sanga padakamo panisharai gayanti yam samaga dhyana vastita tadgadena manasa पश्यंतीय Well, Brahma is that creator Brahma, Brahma out of the three entities. Varuna, the god of uh, water. Indra, the king of all devatas. Various devatas there there, and Rudra, the Lord Shiva, the destroyer, construction destroyer. Maruta, one more phenomenal force. Who are you, devata? and all these devatas plus indra the lord of all devatas the king of he is called the uh, devendra the supreme of all the devatas and the trimurtis brahma vishnu maheshwara all of them sunvanti they are praising what divyai stavai divine stotras all these devatas the lord of all devatas the indra and srishti karta brahma vishnu maheshwara all of them worship him with divine chants vedas sang vedas the rigveda yajurveda samaveda charvana veda de sang padakrama upanishadai following the word sequence of upanishad all the vedas in the end the gyana part upanishad they all do what gandhi they sing so of course predominantly samaveda is singing others also chant sing and gayanti uh, yam samagaha so you will see other vedas they are chanted samaveda is sung it is all uh, um, um, famous for they you will see that uh, like that they sing like that gayanti yam samagaha All these Vedas, Rukya Jyot Sama Atharvan Veda, they are singing about that supreme. After all, what is after all? All the Vedas are indicating. They are nothing but indicator of the supreme Brahma, the means and the end. And and then what happens? Yam Brahma, Jnana Vastida. तदगदेन मनसा क्वेश्चन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड यू कैंट सी हिम 
you can't hear him, you can't smell him, you can't taste him, you can't touch him. But through karma, bhakti, margas, you become purified, you will get dhyana yogyata, jnana yogyata prapti, you become fit to receive, and after that you get knowledge, and after getting this, after getting qualified by karma yoga and bhakti yoga, karma yoga and bhakti yoga, they are meant to pure, to become qualified. Your mind becomes chitta visharata, chitta shuddhi, chitta ekagrata, and then you get input, jnana. And that jnana has to be not heard. First of all, to listen to that, you must get qualified. Karma and bhakti. Otherwise, you can't. If the mind is disturbed and calm, you can't get it. After that, you get the jnana. And that jnana has to be experienced. Tad gadena manasa. And what will happen? Pushyam yam yogina. Uh, yogi is beyond karma bhakti jnana. There, after, after the various yogas, yama, niyama, asana, pranayama, pratyahala, dharana, dhyana, and in that highest stage, you are a yogi. Yogi, you don't need to go to forest. You don't need to retire, take sannyasa. While you are in, in a grahastha ashrama, you can perform all the karma and bhakti yogas, become qualified get input, spiritual inputs that you are getting. And having got that, then you must yourself in the seat of meditation. Experience that. Pashyantiyam. Pashyantiyam. What? Him. He, him means what? Supreme Brahman. There is no difference. Initially, I thought I am the body, I am the mind, I am the intellect. I realize I am not the body, I am not the mind, I am not the intellect. I am not Sula Sukshma Karana Seri Ratve Tektaha Panchakosha Chitaha Avastha Triya Sakshi. What? Aham Satchidananda. And there is no difference. Jivatma Paramatma Aikya. You are merged into Him, into yourself. Aham Brahmasmi Arvava. And this is what you are going to get. And uh, you are going to get that when. Yesya antam naviduhu suraha asuraha gana. Nobody can know the limits, endless. That of what? The Supreme Brahman. And to that Supreme Brahman, Devaya Tasmai Namaha. There they have shown the Samudra Mantana, Devas and Asuras are there. And uh, Asuras, though that Amruta was coming, they were enchanted by the beauty of uh, the winter. And all of us are like Asuras. We are getting attracted and going away. But this they can't know. We do not know that scene. That has to be only experience. That is the Supreme Brahman. Salutations to him. That Supreme Brahman. Devaya Tasmai Namaha. We prostrate to that Supreme Brahman. Yam Brahma Varunendra Rudra Marutaha Stunvanti Divyai Savaihi Vedai Sangha Padakramo Panishadaihi Gayanti Yam Samaga Dhyana vastita tadgadena manasa pashyantiyam yogino yasyantam navidu sura suragana devaya tasmai namaha devaya tasmai namaha Nobody can know that. You are led into this path. The purpose of our life is Brahmanubhava, Atmanubhava, Brahmanubhava, Jivatma Paramatma Aikyam. 
अहम ब्रह्मास्मि अनुभव एक्सपीरियंस आई एम नॉट द वोपारी इट इज दट सुप्रीम ब्रह्मन गेटिंग रिफ्लेक्टेड इन मी द जीवात्मा द सेम ब्रह्मन गेटिंग रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द मैक्रो द परमात्मा द रिफ्लेक्टिंग मीडिया सर डिफरेंट वेस्टी एंड समी बट माइनस द मीडिया देर इज ओनली वन देर कैन नॉट बी टू Please try to realize this. Hari Om. I will stop sharing and stop recording.